M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Bofeng UV17 on the left, on the right is the GD30. The other one that looks exactly the same is also the UV20. It's this style of radio, you can see the, you know, the very distinct colors there, black background, you've got the little red writing where the signal meter can go up and down. So these, these radios, it's quite hard to find the software for this, it took me a while, but in the end, I found it on, believe it or not, a Bofeng website in America, thanks to the USA. And you go to UV series, and it's at the top here, UV17, just click that, You've got the manual, which looks like this, but otherwise you click the UV17. Oh yeah, you're gonna need the cable. So it's a UV5R cable in, um, I'll just go to Amazon. Let's go back to that software. The, the software is on the left. And then otherwise, you download the zip for the software. It puts it up here and just run it. And it's called T6UV, very important it's, you get that. T6 UV, double click it, and then you'll go through, 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 and it'll create a shortcut and everything. I'm gonna click no for now, because we've already got this. And we put, uh, all I did was I right click and put task, put it on my taskbar, basically. You go to your, here, right click the T6 UV, more, and then go to pin to taskbar. Okay, and that's good. And I'll just show you the device manager again. The cable is plugged in, the UV5R cable. Double click, and there it is. It comes up with USB serial CH340. All good. So as soon as you've done that, we'll open up the software. You want to go to Tools, Settings on the left. See Settings, Port, and then just select your COM, which is 11. It won't be one, it'll be the number that you saw in device manager. Once you've done that, I would read from the radio, click start, and it's going to read like so. I'm saying whatever's on your radio, it will read. Let's go through some of the settings. You can open new files, you can save files, but otherwise, go to your items, double click a space, so 23 is empty. We can put in there 145.750 for GB3BC. Don't use receive CTS, I use transmit. So we're just gonna change the transmit frequency to my repeater, which is 145150. But we do need a TXCT CSS for GB3BC of 94.8. And of course, if it's 70 centimeters, you'd have a different receive and transmit frequency. The receive is the one you're hearing. And then the transmit is normally a 600 shift or a 7.600 shift for 70 SEMs. Power here, wide and narrow band. And I have been adding everything to scan. And then your name. So here we would put GB3BC. Have I done many other ones? Not really. Go 145.600, that's WR. Very similar settings. Different receive. Transmit, oh it's 94.8, did that one wrong, didn't I? 94. Always worth double checking. Power, here we go, GB3WR. What else we got here? Scan, I might as well add it. Let's do Hubnet. Which is 434.550. That's simplex, so we can do, leave, do that twice. Uh, and TX, I need 77. Low power on that because in my house. And then we're going to call it Hubnet. Now it doesn't have to show the, the name. You can choose that. You go, let's have a look now. File. Windows function. It, this does, oh, by the way, this works great on DTMF. Just hold the PTT and type. So, function, and then go to if you want to show the channel memory or the frequency. So, I do it one on the B, I put channel, and on the A, I put frequency just so I get the best of both worlds. So, channel mode, B is name, and then A is frequency. That's how I do it. 
you can actually load up a, a, a photograph on this device. If you look through, it all seems fine to me. And you can save, if you really want to save, save it somewhere. And then just write that to the radio. There's more settings if you want to look here. Help, about, version 1.1.8, and then just write to radio. Like so, if you get an error, just read, what I find if you get an error, just read and write. And that, so now if we go to the B band, or see it already says it there, hub net, look, and on the, on the A band, unplug the cable. Yep. So hopefully this will help you. Thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. I recommend you go for the 17 one because it's cheaper. The UV17 Pro is cheaper than the and it, I actually found it to be one watt higher powered so they definitely don't do 10 watts so thanks for watching my channel links needed in the description bye for now 73